the the idea of the joyless Muslim is is definitely a modern stereotype. And one of the things that I think strikes anybody that goes to the Muslim world or visits a Muslim home in America or anywhere else is that the Muslims are extraordinarily happy people. We don't we're not called Prozac Ummah. You know, I mean some people have called America Prozac Nation. Muslim if you see Palestinians, despite the fact they've been bombed, they've been they their their daily abuses and everything, I'm always struck by the fact that they, they can still smile. You know, that they, they, they still hold to that humanity. It's just something extraordinary. And that's why something that Ismail Faruqi said that really struck me. He once said, somebody was talking about the, the, uh, the Muslims and being, you know, those joyless type. And he said, have you ever seen Muslims suffer? You know, have you ever seen the dignity of the suffering Muslims? And that is something really for people to think about because I lived in one of the poorest countries in the world which is Mauritania and I swear to God and people, Imam Zayd's been there if you go to Tuaymarat those people have permanent smiles etched on their faces they're like the poorest people in the world and, and yet the joy that, that I saw in them I mean I knew a man who literally we took a trip once it was about six hour drive and he, he recited the Quran the whole way and that was just his habit but the whole time he was reciting he had a smile on his face and he was happy and and unfortunately religion is seen as a dour sour type of endeavor but the great joy the Prophet ﷺ talked about the joy of worship one of the things Abu Hanifa said about study he said if the kings knew the pleasure that we are in, they would fight us for it with their armies. The pleasure of study, of, of sacred worship, the pleasure of reciting the Quran, and art, music, all these things have their place in Islamic civilization. The Prophet Sallallahu I recently read something, uh, one of these secular humanists said, no religion was ever founded by a man with a sense of humor. And I said, when I read that, well, you don't know our Prophet ﷺ. He had a wonderful sense of humor. We have jokes that he told that are still mentioned on mimbars today. He had a court jester, Nu'iman, who he loved. And Nu'iman was, was he was, I mean, if, if he existed today in the Muslim community, they'd chase him out of the masjid. I mean, this is a man who took Um Maktoum, the blind man to somebody he had an argument with and he told him that it was that person and it was actually Uthman praying and Umm Maktoum went up and started hitting him and when Uthman finished his prayer he said what's going on and he said oh my god I thought you were so and so and he said who told you he said Nu'iman and Nu'iman's there snickering I mean this if we had a character like that in the Muslim masjids today <laughs> but the Prophet not only put up with him he laughed with him he smiled with him one of his names, Imam Siyuti records one of his names, Al-Dahak, the laughing prophet. And he, he smiled and they could see the molars of his mouth when he, I mean, he really enjoyed, he never, he never boisterously laughed. He didn't make loud sounds, but he would really heartily enjoy uh, a good sense of humor.